how much how impressed were you by this position? They played awesome. Um, forced some, some throws, made some plays. Um, you know, offensively, we got to got to hold on to the football. Um, you know, through two and uh, can't have that. Um, but gritted it out. That was a, a team win right there. You didn't have your you had, you had some guys missing today. You had guys that haven't really played much running past that for you. So what does it say that you guys were able to get this thing done with a depleted lineup? Yeah, I mean, again, guys stepping up, knowing their knowing their job, knowing their assignment, and going out there and executing um, can be cleaner. Um, that's that's me. Um, so again, just making sure we're communicating well, and um, just try, again, just trying to hold on the football, and um, you know, we, we got to play better on offense. How big was that drive at the end that put it away? I mean, it was still a game. At the yeah, end. that was awesome. And we, we always talk about ending the game on our terms um, and having the ball. I don't know. If there's probably seven, eight minutes left. I'm not really quite sure. Um, but going down there and getting six the way we did it, uh, it was a long, grueling drive and got a lot of guys that just gritted it out. And um, guys are hurt, um, playing through injuries. Um, so I'm proud of our guys. Eight and two and a half, best start of your career, best start under Coach McDermott, best start for the Bills since 1993. After all the talk this offseason, what's the feeling uh, being at this point at eight and two? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome to get to eight wins um, through 10 games. Um, you know, still got a lot of season left, so we're not really looking at it as that. It's just really on to the next one. Hey, Josh, uh, two passes, 44 to Hollins, end of first half. When you're scrambling, when did you see him? Saw him late. Uh, saw a linebacker kind of underneath him and put one in the air for a little bit. Uh, he said <laughs> that window, the sun came through, so he couldn't really see it. So I'm just glad that he was able to secure it. Uh, got out of bounds, and getting points before half was really big for us. Um, so, yeah, very proud of our guys for that two-minute drill. Then the slip screen, the Shakir that got 30. When you watch him yeah, that's, dart that around. Was the biggest, I went up to him and said that's the biggest play of the game, third and eight. Um, we understood what type of pressure that they were going to bring there, had an alert on it. We saw it. Um, we alerted it, and guys went out there and made some plays. But, again, his contact balance running through um, would-be tacklers and um, – you know, staying on his feet, he's he's very elite at that, and uh, we needed that right there. You were, you, go ahead, sir. Uh, you, you were without Kincaid for some, obviously the receivers. Did you have to manage frustration, or did you have to be more patient today because guys just hadn't been out there as much? No, just trusting trusting the play calls, um, trusting the guys that were in there, and uh, just trying to run our offense to the best of my ability. And, again, I don't feel like I did that today. Um, you know, wish I had a couple throws back, especially early on, but um, we'll take eight and two. We were uh, up in the press box. We were wondering a little bit why you guys weren't running the ball a little bit more. Given the receiver situation, it felt like a game where you could have got James and Ray. What you guys were insisted on passing. Can you maybe explain a little bit of that? Um, I mean, I just think just understanding what type of defense they played. They had a pretty good defensive line. Um, you know, we'd love to love to run it and, and get a bunch of yards, and we'd love to throw it and get a bunch of yards. So it's just kind of the flow of the game and just trusting what Joe's calling. Hey Josh, you're obviously aware of what's next week. I don't know Kansas City can see you guys. What kind of measuring stick will that be for where you guys are at? Um, it'll be week 11. Um, again, we're just going to try to put our best foot forward, have a good week of practice, uh, and try to win a football game against a, a really good football team. Um, again, it's, it's, the, it's the biggest one because it's the next one. Thanks, I guess.